microbiota helps us to digest our food. And with that, they provide uh, nutrients and energy that we use to grow. We don't know much yet. There are many papers that make correlations and associations and we always say you have to think about the causation. Uh, so the best examples are of course the fecal transplant studies where they show that microbes can influence health. By modulating your diet you can also modulate your microbes. The microbes can contribute to the uh, severity or the disease, disease or the onset of the disease. But if the diet is uh, wrong or unhealthy then that's the cause of the first cause. Measuring microbiota is easy, it's not invasive. Taking a sample is really easy. And also modulating it through diet is also very easy. There's no medication, it's just usually it's fibers or, you know, or probiotics. And it can be very personalized because just giving everybody the same diet, it probably won't work and the success rate will be lower. I would like to give two examples. Zacharomansia, there is a human trial being done with this organism to treat metabolic disease, or at least to see if, there's a, if we can influence metabolic disorder. And my other example will be, my group also works a lot on early life microbiota. Probiotics and prebiotics that we give to our infants to modulate their microbiota. Infants that cannot receive breast milk, for example, they get formula, already put fibers in there to stimulate the microbiota of these small infants. And in our research, we now also look at symbiotics, which is a combination of a probiotic and a prebiotic, so a bacteria with a fiber. And if you put them both in a diet, then actually you might have a better effect even to modulate the microbiota and health. It's an online course and it's freely available for everybody. And the reason why I started is because I got so many questions and so many invitations to speak, uh, not only for scientists, but also for dietitians, physicians, uh, general practitioners. And there's a lot of things, uh, basic things that, yeah, that is not known. And by reading full articles, it's just more difficult. And I already give a course at my university about the human microbiome. So I thought, why not put it in this online platform? Uh, it went online in January and we now have over eight and a half thousand learners and they come from 150 different countries. So really around the world. Uh